Hello, welcome back to Tube Talk. Welcome back to you too, Dougie. And uh, I hear that this is your last Tube Talk for about a month. Yeah, so I'll be going to Cleveland, Ohio for about a month, so... In the United States of America? Yeah, that's correct. What are you doing there? Going on an exchange, so I go out there for a month and then my American brother comes back for a month later on. Yeah, he's coming back in July. That'll be cool. How, yes. how hot is it going to be there? Oh, it's going to be a nice, crisp, negative five degrees. Yeah. So going from about 27 here to negative five. It'll be lovely. I don't think I've ever been in with that cold anyway. Yeah. But what's the first thing that, the first thing I've got organised for you? Super Bowl party. Nice. So that'll be exciting. Yeah. And I think you're going to New York too, aren't you? Oh, it'll be all right, you know. <laughs> Opportunities that we didn't get when we were kids lucky boy lucky but boy I, i've been working for it that's true you have been so yeah, yeah here very appreciate my there. parents helping me out with this financial ex- excursion so what the what the people want to know is who is going to replace you well it's going to be it's going to be a tough interview process for whoever does take my spot because you know this job is very demanding it physically is. and mentally yeah but i think melissa is the front runner right now yeah, I think we might get Kate next week, yep. and then Melissa, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get a guest then. Give us McKinley. Oh, great idea. We'll try that. I don't know if we can be fun coming out here, though. <laughs> and what else have we got happening? We've got the yearling sales. Yeah, so we talked about that last week. Uh, we've got 70% of those horses uh, that we bought and now have owners, um, which is fantastic. Uh, people are jumping on board. I think we bought the best line of horses we ever have. Mm. Working with Stu Bowman, doing the biodynamics and things, and um, pretty excited about them. Very excited. Uh, so jump on. Website, have a look, give me a call, get involved. A lot of exciting things happening in racing, and you need to be part of it with one of these links. Last week, Strongbow was victorious at Sunshine Coast. Yeah, outstayed them. Um, really good win just got stronger and stronger as the race built um, well deserved well deserved nice day horse then Imperial Empress was very good on debut she was really good a daughter of Satona Aladdin her half sister actually made a full sister made 900,000 at the Ealing Sales uh, she was very good she just sort of got in an awkward spot got knocked over a couple of times as straight but still finished a close third she's got a big future mm. This week on Friday at Sydney Race 1 is Sting the Tail. Yeah, Friday night, Canterbury Park. Really like this filly. Uh, her closing section was excellent first up. She's a staying filly. She's an Oaks filly. It's 15.50 and Canterbury Park is it's a really tight track. So it's not really going to suit her. Uh, but look for her to be getting home late. And um, I think she ran a nice race. And I think uh, third up over a bit more ground, I think she'll be awfully hard to beat. Yep. And then on Saturday at Rickerton Race Day is Divine Sabbath. Yeah, she ran in stakes class last start. She drops back to 75 grade. Um, slightly awkward draw, but I think a clean getaway going forward and a little bit of the, the track will be a touch softer as well, which will really suit her. And I think we'll see her improve second up. Mm. Then at Brisbane Race 3, we have Tunac. Yeah, Tunic, so first up, ignores run, it was too short for him, it was just basically a go around, uh, this is 2,000 metres, he's worked very well this week. He might just need one more, maybe just uh, fitness wise, because he's jumping quickly up 2,000 metres, but he's a natural star, Mark Duplessis gets on well with him, I would not be surprised at all to see him run very, very well, but he will improve on it. In race 8, Wiry Falls. Yeah, really wide barrier, he's worked really well this week he's got barrier 16 so I don't know whether to run if we do run we're going to need a bit of luck a lot of luck and he will improve for it and be a bit of third up I thought if he could have drawn a barrier I thought he would have been a chance to be right on it so we'll just keep an eye on it we may scratch and, and, and wait wait a week then um, Randwick race no sorry that's right uh, Yarra Valley race 5 is Opera Bell yeah just to start off for a nice staying there, uh, she's drawn barrier 16 of 16 over 1500 metres, so I suspect that uh, she will not be running and we'll wait another week before clean off. 
and then rounded race line Lord Ivor. Really good run last start and a listed race he got home really strongly. That was 2,000 metres. We've had to freshen him for this race. We're getting ready for the Parramatta Cup in a couple of weeks' time, and this was the logical step, even though he's got to come back in distance. So we've freshened him. He's got a nice barrier drawer. Uh, he should get a good run in transit. While it's a touch short of his best, I think he's a definite top three chance at good odds. Um, he's going really well and worked well this week. Mm. Then Caulfield race nine is a tissue. Left the big one for last. Yep. Left the big one for last. Uh, there's another one too, though, that you haven't mentioned yet. Is it um, Divine Server? No. Skyman. Skyman. I, thought, I Skyman. wasn't sure, but you know, we'll come back to our... Two Group 1 runners this week. Yeah. Skyman and the Tissue. Talk about Skyman. What race is he in, Douglas? Six. At? Tarapa. Thank you. He's on the Herbie Dyke. First up over uh, a mile at... Trent on the Thornton Mile Group 1, he ran a very good fifth, the track just deteriorated which counted against him but he still closed up nicely on straight. 2,000 metres suits him, he's got a nice enough barrier draw, he should sit relatively handy. Uh, getting back on a good track I think he will really enjoy uh, and I think he is a distinct top three chance. Um, he's going well. Um, a tissue, fresh up in the sea of all stakes. Very good field, very, very good field. And 1,400 metres is short of her best. She has won four out of seven over 1,400, but it was probably in group three and, and lower grade company. What is going to probably be in her favour is it'll probably be a hot pace. So she's probably going to, she's barely seven or nine, she's probably going to get back, but there should be good pace on. And she'll finish, be finishing off very, very strongly. While it's a little difficult to see her winning fresh up over 1,400, um, if there's a lot of speed on, nothing's out of the question. She's come back really well, and I'm sure she'll be finishing off strong. So it'll be exciting watching her race. Mm. And bit of the week is that Sarapa race nine, Financier. Marsh stable is flying. Uh, horse seems to be having, seems to have found the zone. This preparation as an older horse is taking a bit of time. Barrier two looks fantastic. Uh, runs well at Tirapa. I think he'll get a lovely trip in transit. Uh, and he seems to be on an up and play. I think he's a really good chance. So I think he's he's 450. Fixed odds wouldn't be surprised if he got out a touch more than that. I'd be happy to wait for the day and see what he pays. That's been the week and that's Chew Talk. That is. Have a good time in Cleveland, Doug. And we'll see you enough. Bye. Aaron Frada, Schoenacker saved any amount of ground, raced a second, chases after the leader, then came top boy, Cash Me struggling, the favourite can't win, then intuition and roller coaster from the back, but Schoenacker below the 200 metres, weight rise at all, dashed away, top boy can make no impression, Kunitanez run his race, forget the rest, and Schoenacker goes back to back, too strong, too tough.